and welcome to this video covering how to make a podcast in Audacity. Um, we are going to take a look at some of these processes and programs and give you a real good idea of what's going on uh, and how to do this. First, outline how to record speech in Audacity, how to add music, adjust volumes, manage your tracks in Audacity, uh, save and export your project, and upload to Posteros, finally. Uh, as you can see here, I've actually made an outline. Uh, when you outline, you want to use this to organize your important points, put them in the right order. Um, for you, what's going to be important that you'll see I haven't done, because I'm not responding to text, is to write your exact quotes with a speaker, if it's external dialogue, and a page number for easy use while you're recording. You want to be able to identify your speakers with signal phrases, so uh, that's handy. Um, all right, number three, open Audacity. Let's go down here. Start menu, start typing Audacity up, it comes, click on it. Got to press yes. And there you have it. Here we've got Audacity uh, all ready to go. Um, so let's go back and number two. Place the cursor, press the red button. Let's practice recording your voice. First of all, right here, red button, pretty much always record. I'm going to press it and watch what happens. I'm going to deliver my introductory section here, uh, start talking, go in. When I'm done, I'm going to press stop. Now, at this point, I can place my cursor wherever I want. There is a timeline. So if I wanted to keep going right where it left off, I would just keep talking. Uh, and, you know, go back in, speak, when I'm done again. Here are these tracks. I can name these tracks if I want to. I could call this uh, Intro 1 and so on, and you can see it pops up right there. Okay. All right, so I've recorded my voice, and the next uh, thing to consider is when you are recording this and you look at your outline, you know, record in manageable chunks. Maybe I want to talk about this in one bit and then stop, and I want to move on and talk about this in one bit and stop. That allows you to manipulate your language a bit. I can move over here to these two arrows, face each other, click on them. Now if I click here, I can move this around and say, oh, you know what? This is really my better introductory section. I can move this over here. Or if I don't like this first, but I could just delete it. Okay? Um, that's why I'd say record in small, manageable chunks. So what do we want to do next? We want to be able to add some different textures, some layers of uh, music or sound. Uh, you can create these if you'd like in GarageBand. You could play guitar and record it. You can do whatever you want. I mean, I think the more creative, the better. But if you want to get some music that's been pre-recorded, you're just not allowed to use copyrighted music. Uh, at the end of the day, it's not okay. And you're going to put it on your blog and put it out there with your name on it. And essentially, you're, you're advertising yourself as you know, someone who steals. And we're just not going to do that. So. The option is Creative Commons Jamendo. Uh, this really is a pretty useful website. and You may not love all the music, but there is some pretty good music there. I'm going to come here to the menu bar music, Creative Commons, which is going to take me here. Once I'm here, they actually organize just on their, on their landing page, music by license. This is uh, the first level is attribu attribution, attribution share alike, attribution non-commercial share alike, attribution, non-commercial. Then these last two say no derivatives at the end. You want to avoid these. That means no derivative works. You are not allowed to remix, to change, to move, to do anything creative with their work. You just can use it to play it. So let's skip that. If you get confused right here where it says uh, liberties, this section explains what Creative Commons licenses are. So I'm going to choose one and use that. Let's look for something instrumental. Here we go. Epic Soul Factory. Sounds fantastic. Download. This is going to download and go right into my downloads folder. And while that's going on, I could look right here at this um, license. If I wasn't sure what it meant, I would click and it could take me to that. We'll wait for it to download for a moment. So it's downloaded. It's in my download folder. I want to import it. Come to Project. Import Audio. Then I'm going to, let's see, it's Epic. There it is. Let's open that guy. And it's going to process the file, and it'll show up in just a moment. And then it's almost there, and we have it. Okay, I've 
got my music here. Uh, you can see it's much, much longer. Just here you can see the speech, so it's pretty long. I think I'm going to go ahead and just trim it. You can see it goes out to, wow, it's a 30-minute long file. So I'm going to just go back up here, click, get my cursor. I know I'm going to be four minutes long, so I'll just trim it off at five minutes or so. Come all the way there. I'm just going to hit backspace. Done. Okay. View. Zoom in is control. One could say zoom to selection. I think we can go zoom in. Control one, control one, control one, control one, control one. Now let's see here. We can use this bar to scroll this way. And now I can see my, my speech that I've made. I can see the music. Okay. But I can't fit it all in the window. So I want to go to view, fit vertically. And now I can see everything I've done. Okay. All right, we've got the music in there. How to adjust volumes. Um, if you listen to the way this sounds. It's a little loud. So I'm going to come right here to overall volume, and I'm just going to turn it down to 12 decibels. Now, let's hear the difference. Still a little loud, but decent for background music. So... If I want to, first of all, I think I'm going to make it so that music starts right from the beginning. There we go. And now I want to turn this down a little while I'm speaking. So I highlight it. It goes for the same length as my speech. I come up here to turn the volume down effect. Amplify. And let's go for the, oh, 15s or so. There we are. Look at that. You can see it really makes a radical difference. And now we'll hear that. And it's just sort of in the background. And it gets louder, and we can turn it back down again by repeating that process. OK. Additionally, you may want to fade in, fade out as an effect. So here it gets pretty loud. And if I highlight a section, this actually could work. Let's highlight a little more. Oops, click there, and I'm just going to highlight this section right here. And what if I go to effect, fade out? Look at that. It's going to turn the volume down a bit. It may still be too loud. We'll listen to it. <laughs> then you hear my filler voice in the background. Maybe it's too loud, but it fades out to nothing, um, and then it gets loud again. So you can play around with the volume of this track this way. Keep in mind, when you import music, you need to import an MP3. If you try to take music out of your iTunes and MP4, it's not going to work. Um, you can use that music uh, illegally by converting the MP4 to an MP3, but let's stick with the Creative Commons music uh, for now. Now, let's imagine that I'm finished. I've got everything organized the way I want it to be. I've got my music. I've got my levels where they want to be. I've listened to it. It sounds good. Nothing's missing. It's the right length. It's time to, well, hopefully we've saved before now, but if I go to save, project, you know, find a folder. I'm going to have a place on the desktop. Let's say new folder, uh, Mr. Code English Podcast Thin Air, something descriptive. I know where it is. Sweet. Open it. Call this something like uh, podcast project adventure. I don't know. But make sure you say project so you know it's not what we're going to do next, which is your mp3. Export is mp3. Okay. Again, here I'm going to call this um, podcast adventure final. Save it. You're going to be able to give a title. Say adventure is, and then I give whatever it is. Call it the artist. Fantastic genre. I like to choose something like uh, thrash metal fantastic. Okay. And now it's going to make this happen. All right, it's done. The next step, save it in multiple places. Put it in Dropbox. If you don't know Dropbox, go to Metonymy, Google it, sign up, get it. It's the best thing ever. Get yourself a free account. Um, put it in your P drive. Leave it on your computer. Put it in your thumb drive. Hide it under your pillow. Put it in a million places because uh, you don't want to lose it. Put it on Google Docs. It's a great place for it. Our next step is we want to upload this to Posterous. And so we come here. New post via web, and we're going to get going, show you how to upload this and what it should look like. OK, 
Okay, so we've exported the video. I have saved it in multiple places. I know where that is. Okay, time to create a post in our poster space. New post via web, click there, and we're going to see something that looks like this. Here, I want to give it a nice descriptive title. Adventure is the journey of the unknown. That should relate to my thesis statement. And then give some explanation in your own words of what this is for your audience. Into Thin Air is an exciting nonfiction book by John Cracker. The biggest question, what is adventure? This podcast is my response. Okay, whatever you want, put that in there. Uh, it's up to you. Now it's time to upload uh, this podcast. So I go to where I know I saved it. I find the MP3 file, not the project file, the MP3. Okay, it says right there. Double click, and it's going to start uploading. While that's going, I'm going to actually hit enter, and I'm going to uh, provide a link back to the music Epic Soul Factory that I decided to use in my podcast. There it is. I'm going to control copy, come back here, and there's my player. Fantastic. It's uploaded. Uh, thanks to Epic Soul Factory for music found in the You know, you could say whatever you wanted. Then I, I highlight this text. Come up here, see the chain, click it, control P, paste. Uh, I'm a fan of opening it in your window. You don't have to be here. I'll click control factory. You don't have to do this. You just have to provide the link, click it, look at that, done. I have provided, uh, you know, an attribution saying, look, thanks for the music. Okay, got it all there. Come down here, whoops. Publish. Bang. It's going to take a second. When it does, you're going to see a real nice player. Um, you're going to see you know, the text. And I think it's going to look pretty good. There it is. There's my blog post. All right. Got my hyperlink to the music. Got this player. And if I press it, you'll hear it. it takes a second to load. And there you have it. That's it. Um, that's creating the podcast. Let's go back to the outline. Did I forget anything? No, it looks like I've got everything there. Oh, thanks, outline. And uh, thanks to all of you for checking it out. And I hope that was helpful. I really look forward to hearing your responses. And I hope you enjoy it. Uh, you'll find yourself stressed out. Relax. Take a breath. Uh, try to have a playful attitude as you do this. And I think it'll be a lot more fun. Um, all the best of luck. And I will see you in class on Monday for your podcast.